can solve this problem in a different way, my dear students. He's asking us to find out the area of the bullets covered when they are being blasted here in all the different different directions here. The large number of bullets have been uh, fired in different different directions with same velocity. He's asking us to find out the, what the maximum area covered by the bullets here. So for that a simple shortcut method is there. You all know that area is nothing but dimensional formula is L square here. If you base the dimensional formula by seeing the four options, you will get immediately one thought which might be the correct option without solving. You can just see here by seeing all uh, pi square, pi square can't be the area because pi r square if you consider pi will be there. So among these two formulas you have to select the correct option because uh, you have eliminated two, two options already. So by seeing, by observing I have got an idea that might be second option is correct here but let me prove it how it is correct now. So, 5 v power 4 by g square. So, that is the formula for area. Now, if you get the uh, L square as a dimension formula, then this is going to be the correct answer. Let us see here now. So, pi does not have any dimensions. Lt power minus 1 is a dimensional formula for velocity. Whole power of 4 by g square here. g is nothing but acceleration which is Lt power minus 2 whole square. So, L power 4 t power minus 4 divided by L square t power minus 4. So getting cancelled here. So what is left for area which is nothing but L square. So therefore you can say that option B is ultimately correct option because you are getting the dimensional formula for area only for B option not for A option. A is taken as wrong. 